Hey, what's going on guys? Coach Swift here at Make Money Coaching Sports. Uh, so as a lot of y'all who've been following our page, um, you've seen uh, you know Ben and Leo talk about what you don't want to blow your money on when you're just starting out on your own, okay? Um, and you know a lot of things we mention is you don't need to go and spend a bunch of money getting a website made. There's free options, by the way. You can copy and paste. A simple blog sheet will work out. Um, you don't need to, you know, hire an SEO person uh, once you get that website. Uh, there, there's so, there's so many things that people think they need uh, the exact moment they open up a business, and that's what's gonna make their business. And a lot of it does have a purpose, you know. I have a website. Everybody else in here in our group has a website. But when you get going, uh, you can't obviously spend a bunch of money unless you just have money saved up or you come for money, okay? And a lot of us don't. So um, on top of being economical to what Ben and Leo have said, I get questions on, what about training equipment? What kind of training equipment do I need to train athletes at a football or soccer field or track? Um, and this is where they all start kind of going down the same path on what can I spend money on? What should I blow my money on? Okay, look. You don't need to blow your money on a lot. Uh, for many years, I got by on one, I had free access to a football or soccer field and a track, okay, boom. I know a thousand things I can do between plyometrics, uh, sprint technique, um, you know, different conditioning drills, uh, all those combine NFL, NBA Pro Day, uh, MLS Pro Day uh, type drills that people do. I know how to work all those, okay. Uh, there's so many different things you can do with just body weight, okay, uh, that go to performance without just making a bunch of stuff up, right? But if you are going to spend on equipment, my rule of thumb was something that you could just put, like, you know, something that fits in the back of your car. You don't need a lot, okay? So the first things are easy one. They're cheap. Cones, okay? Nobody's ever had problem buying cones. Nobody's ever felt like they wasted their money, okay? You can buy a ton of cones for cheap, okay? So you buy cones. Um, you know, me, I always had a bunch of the uh, the mini hip bands for uh, glute hip mobility. Uh, those are relatively cheap, especially on Amazon, performbetter.com. Uh, so I bought those for the dynamic warm-ups and stuff like that. And then I also... Uh, I had hurdles, uh, the old Nike spark hurdles, they don't make them anymore, but once again, perform better, has their own. Uh, they pull out their track, they go with like six or 12 inches. You can do, uh, add it to your apply metrics and stuff like that. Um, but you don't have to have those. I know a lot of trainers who never had those, but they could be useful, all right? And then uh, I would say resistance bands that you use, um, you know, like, you see them in weightlifting, the power bands, okay? I bought, uh, a couple years ago, I bought uh, three uh, bundles, and they were all uh, different strengths, okay? Uh, you probably only need two different strengths out there. Uh, and if you think, well, somebody's really small, they will, they can't do a, a heavy band, they probably just don't need a band, okay? Uh, so all in all, the amount of money I just listed, probably 300 bucks tops in equipment. And it's everything that... If I went to a sports store and, you know, you have uh, the travel bags like baseball players have, I could put everything in there and still have a ton of room for everything that I need, okay? The rest is your coaching, your programming. You can get creative and make do with what you have. And then as you start making more money, you use our systems, you're consistent, people are getting great results off a minimalist equipment approach that you're doing out there on the track, on the football field, uh, basically stuff that... We've been doing it in sports since before everybody had a weight room. The weight room came, and that was the once in a while people had that, okay? Not everybody had a weight room in the beginning. At some point, all they did was play multiple sports. They did different track workouts, you know, spring, uh, a lot of direction change outside. You guys know all of this. You guys have done a lot of it. Um, you see it at every high school. They go out. They have their weight room time. They have the time they go out, and they do stuff on the field, Okay. Uh, so you don't need to blow a bunch of money on equipment. You don't need to blow a bunch of money on SEO marketing and, um, Facebook, Instagram ads, websites, stuff like that. Uh, you don't need expensive decals for your car. Uh, you don't need to buy 10, uh, sleds or anything. You need to be realistic. You, people are coming to you because you can solve a problem, not necessarily because you have all the gadgets. Now, those are all fun. Don't be wrong. 
a little bit more can be better. Eventually, you might buy some medicine balls for out there. Um, this is my eighth year, and it was only two years ago that I bought a, a laser timing system. And even then, I didn't buy the top of the market one. I bought one that was good enough to collect data, motivate athletes, have fun um, when doing our time sprints, and that was it. Um, but that cost fifteen hundred bucks, maybe, and it wasn't until year six that I justified that cost. Okay. Uh, everything else you might just buy a stopwatch and stopwatches are cheap. You buy two packs of those at a time. Okay. Um, so don't go once again, blowing all your money on business marketing stuff, but also don't go blow a bunch of money that you don't need to right away on sports training equipment. You slowly acquire stuff as you go. And that's where a lot of people who own gyms and especially the fitness industry, they go wrong. They want to make it the mecca of fitness. They want all the different leg presses, all the different cable machines that hit your lats, your shoulders, um, your chest, your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, uh, your calves, your hips. Okay, They want everything. But that's why those gyms never get out of debt because it's so expensive. If they took all that away and just had even free weight equipment that was used and in good shape, you're talking about saving thousands and thousands of dollars to say the least. Okay. So you got to have the same mindset when you're out there. Uh, it's also just a pain in the ass to take a bunch of equipment from your car to the field of track because you never know if you're parking 10 feet away or 100 yards away. So you got to be efficient. Uh, don't blow all your money. Uh, only do what you can. Something that based off one to three players are easily going to pay off uh, what you spent on equipment if you don't already have your existing equipment, Okay. So keep that in mind as you're being a smarter, more savvy uh, spender when getting your business going and you're definitely training outside to where uh, that's all you have is the track and the field and just some base equipment. The rest is on you. You're the coach. You're the skilled person. You understand how it goes with less, okay? And that's what you're selling at the time, all right? So be good with your money. Make your money work for you. And then check out the rest of our channel this month. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up, right?